Ken Phil here again from Phil's Place with another little hint or what I, or how I freeze dry. I have a packet of oxygen packets. It's all been sealed. The little eye here says that they're still okay. They have not been contaminated yet with any oxygen. So what do you do with a big pack like this? Well, I'm going to show you what I do. Years ago, when we used to dehydrate, we had this little guy uh, from American Harvest. It, it was a, a vacuum sealer. And along with it, it had a roll of bags like this that you can get off the internet. They're uh, open at one end. So what I do, I just take that material, I cut off a piece like this, uh, I have my my sealer on a number three and what I will do I will just make my own little envelopes seal the sides and then we'll seal the bottom just like that didn't do this real straight but here are two bags I can now put my oxygen absorbers in and when I do they look something like this I have a little bag with four oxygen absorbers inside and when I open them up I'll just cut along the sill take out what I need but I always keep the envelopes for future use so I have all these envelopes that I'm going to transfer four at a time from this packet into these packets. Now, when you're use, working with oxygen absorbers, as soon as they come in contact with the atmosphere, the oxygen in the atmosphere will start to heat these up. It starts to oxidize the material inside, and that's how it burns up the oxygen. So you kind of have to work fast. You don't have to get paranoid, but the sooner you do it, the better it's going to be. So you need to have everything set out, everything ready to do your mass packaging. Now, if you don't have this material, you can also use the same plastic from a Ziploc bag. You'll have to experiment on what setting works best to seal the sides and the ends, but once you find that, once you find that setting, you can use the same plastic from a Ziploc bag, and I also use that. So, we're going to line all of our bags up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should have plenty for this. Okay. And in fact, you can actually take this bag and reuse it for other oxygen sensors. Okay, so we're going to cut this open. All the oxygen is now going into the pack, and all these little guys are going to start to heat up. Okay, so I always do four at a time. My freeze dryer is a four tray, so I do four at a time. So I'm going to put four in there, like so. This one, I'm going to seal it up. Two, three, four. Put it in there. And seal it up. Now, after the element turns off, I always hold the bar down just a little bit longer so everything can cool, so it doesn't rip when I pull it off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I always want to kind of check out your seal, make sure everything looks fine. 
after I do this I'll put them all into a Ziploc bag just as a little bit of an insurance policy. Usually I can use my bags five to seven times as long as I'm careful and cut along the sill without taking a lot of material with it. This is a big bag. I can, I'll be able to use this a lot of times. Uh, that looks a little bit questionable. I'll do this one one more time. That looks better. These are just getting a little bit warm now. But I'm almost done. And as soon as these are sealed, the absorbers will oxidize what oxygen is inside each packet and it will stop absorbing. Some of these packs are getting almost too small to use anymore. This will probably be my last time I can reuse some of these packs. Ooh, that's going to be tight. That's going to be a tight one right here. Uh, almost not enough room to make the sill. But just in case that didn't work, I, mean, I can put it into a larger bag since I have some extras. down a bit so I don't tear the sill. As I take it off, two left. If I turn these sideways, I'll be able to get more of it. There's only two in this packet. Okay. So now this is a packet I bought these from, so I can actually take this cut this into fourths packets for the future. So once all that is done, I'll take all my little packets, put them in a Ziploc bag just for added protection. Take out all the air. 
and there I am. I'm all ready to freeze dry several more loads. Thanks for watching. Phil again from Phil's Place. I just wanted to show you about making individual bags for your oxygen absorbers out of a Ziploc bag. This is a great value brand. So you'll have to experiment on what setting is best works with you. I noticed somewhere about between two and three is the best. So in this case, I'm just going to cut the, cut the Ziploc off because I do not want to bet the farm that that Ziploc is going to work. Okay, we're going to end up doing sealing that end. Just going to hold it there to cool off just a little bit. If you take it away too soon, it could ruin your seal. Okay, that's a nice seal. So we're just going to cut this in four pieces with my doll knife, doll scissors. Boy, these are really dull. And we already have the manufactured sides and bottoms, so we don't have to reseal those. We seal it there. So we got one. ready to be packaged. Now, I'm sure you've everyone has seen the nice kind of uh, seam when this the nice seal that when these are done properly. If you have this too high and you go to seal it and you pull it away, well you end up tearing and melting these two pieces. That's not gonna do anyone any good. So you just need to dial it down usually around two to three. Seal it. It's hot. Let it cool down just a little bit. And then when you take that off, you'll have a nice seal all the way across. Okay, thanks for watching.